one. Yo, welcome back. Uh, today's video is not electrical related at all, but it should be quite a fun one. Uh, Unilite sent me these two boxes to test out. I already have a few Unilite boxes, which I have over here, which is the tough cases that help me keep my camera equipment, my GoPros, everything like that, all safe and secure. Let's give you a quick peek. So, GoPros, lenses, batteries, sliders, gimbals, that sort of stuff. Thousands of pounds worth of equipment that I don't want damaged at all. And equally, when it goes back to my house in the evening, it's safe away from my children. So, what I'm gonna do today, is test this destruction, that's the plan. I'm gonna go with it. So we're gonna do a drown test. Then we're gonna do a drop test. Then we're gonna do a drag test. And then finally, I'm gonna give it an assault. We're literally gonna beat it with a bat to see if it goes. And throughout the whole process, my lucky egg is gonna go inside to see if it will withstand it. This is designed, it's IP67, so it is uh, submergible up to a meter. I've stood on it at home. I've really tried to see how well this is gonna take. It's got some really nice strong clips on the side. It's got a nice rubber seal. It should take it, but we're taking it well further than it should be or how it should be treated. Internally, it has the pull, pluck and pick foam, which I've done for all my camera equipment. It's literally just, I draw around what I want it to go around, pull it, pick it out, jobs are good. Em. So for electricians wise, these cases will come in handy for our test equipment. So in here, I've just put my mega in for a demonstration. Mega tester fits in. Obviously you can pull the foam out. This, this is this layer of foam that's come out. You can pull it out, put the plugs in it, put your testers in it. Any test equipment that you value, which we all do, is you know, thousand, thousand pounds worth. Want it protected. Snap it in there, and also you can put padlocks on, which is quite good. But that one's staying safe today. And as much as as pretty and delicious as these are, I don't want to damage it if going to. So first test is going to be the drown test. So I'll stick the egg in, I'll set the water up, and we'll go from there. Right, a few more things I've got to add. Uh, it comes with the reflectors, sticker reflectors that you can actually stick on the front of your boxes, all the different types, different size stickers, different colours. Cool, right, back to it. I've cut the egg out. That's now in. I was going to put it in a bag, but we're going to see how this goes. I've got to lock that shut. I've then got a timer on my phone. I'm going to time it submerged for a minute. This is the back for later on. But when I drop this in, I'm just going to submerge it for a minute, see how we get on, pull it out, and see how wet everything is inside. Ah. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to hold it. Right. What is a proof of bonus for this as well is the water is absolutely freezing. This water is so cold. Right, going for 30 seconds now. Oh god, I can't put my hand anymore. Right, it's been a minute. Oh my god, that's cold. Right, let's get a towel for the outside. Right. Truth. I'm going to be as honest and transparent as possible. Let's see if this has held it in. Yeah, no water at all past the seam. You've got a gasket in here and then you've got the lip that sits up as well. So, by oh, looks of it, let me just pull this foam out and have a look underneath. Yeah, not a drop of water. Okay, all right, so it's past the... Uh, the drown test, let me get some blood back in my left arm and then we will uh, do the drop test. For the drop test, we're going to head over to Reese's unit, which has still got the scissor lift from my last video or one before or whatever, so we can measure exactly how high. We're going to go right to the top, drop it from there. Here's our case, just to prove our lucky egg from Cool Runnings is still in here. See it falling out now as I turn it up. There's the egg, still intact. And it is a real egg. I'll prove it at the end, I'll throw it at my cameraman. 
Right. Let's go on. That was pretty high. Let me bang my head as well. Right, I'll drop it off the far end here. So realistically, this now should be three and a half, nearly four meters, which is way higher than, like if you were to drop it ever, it'd either be out your hand or out the back of your vehicle, van, car, whatever. So this is way beyond it should do. So let's give it a go. Eight, three, two, one. Clips came open, not broken, it just popped open. <laughs> oh god. Hey, it's a lucky egg! Cool. Let's have a look at the damage, I'll put that back in. Now there's square on the back end. No, nothing. I'm tempted now if we do another drop. If I do another drop, let's go higher and let's go outside because that obviously took it more than capable of taking that. Yeah, let's go outside, let's go higher. <laughs> oh my God. That's high. That's not even full height. Oh no, winds. Okay, I just hope it doesn't bounce into my van now. Right, that's easy, while I'm higher than the roof. Hi, Reese. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome come down. Oh, thought I was stuck then. That was easy eight meters, wasn't it? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's not my lucky egg anymore. Luckily I bought two. But to be fair, I'm not surprised with the height really eight meters so well the box is still intact let me just get rid of the uh the omelet that's now inside of it but the case is still in there's no cracks there's no dents a bit of a scuff there where it landed and there but it literally hit on the brackets all right let me get this cleaned up and then we'll uh, we'll try the drag test yep. Right, next one is the drag test. Obviously this is hyper unrealistic, but imagine, you know, you're about to board a plane and there's someone chasing you. No, it's not going for that. Yeah, I'm going to tie it to the back of the van. We're going to go around the industrial straight. There's no main roads. This is at my mate's unit. I'm going to drive to my unit and uh, see how it fares. Right, obviously that was super unrealistic, but box is scuffed, which I knew was gonna happen out of all the tests. Vax took a batter in. Clips by the looks of it are absolutely fine. Yeah, because the elbows here of the clips have caught it. Is it open? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's still egg stain inside, never mind. Uh, but yeah. So I knew for a fact my, uh, my camera fell out of my test equipment out the back of my van and was caught on a bit of 2.5 and I was dragging it down the M6. Yeah, we'll take the weight. Uh, next thing is go back to the unit and let's smash it with the bat. Right, so the last test, is, well, it's not actually the last test. We've added one more. We're going to drive over it as well, depending on how this goes. So 
I've got a bad wrist that Aaron, Mr. Muscles, has come in and he's going to hit me in the back. There he is. So, what should we say? 10, ten wax? Yeah. Go on then, as hard as he can. After you, mate. Oh, if you did, it'd be magical. Yeah? Yep. Oh my god. Just do that clip back. Put that clip back on, dude. You, is this a thumbnail, yeah? yeah, that's it. <laughs> right, number two. <laughs> the stick has come off. Number three. Go on then. Jesus. See what I didn't want to do with the bad wrist. What's that four? I'll give it its due. It's <laughs> don't want to hit it on the side. Oh, well, glad to put the scaffolding in strong. This is five. This is six now. All the back. My God. It's only a kid's bat. It's mine, I bought that from America when I was like, sick. Brilliant. <laughs> to be fair, if the latches are come on, I mean, by all means, whatever was in it was on the floor now, but other than eggy, eggy foam. Good. So, Let's just go two more. I'm not putting the foam back in again. Leave the eggy foam out, it's fine. You must be in the sweet spot on the on the box to, yeah. to pop the clips out. Last one. Last one. This time just hit it hard, okay? Is that okay, mate? Yeah. If you actually aim and swing it correctly. I zoomed in, I missed it. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Yeah, let's have a... You broke your me in your back now. How dare you. Right, so that was fun. Um, Aaron managed to destroy my childhood baseball bat from America, so thank you for that, Aaron. Looking from... Afar, obviously we've got scratches, we've still got the clips that are working great. You know, hinge is still working, still got a bit of egg in it there. But I was going to do running over it in my van, but I don't think that's such a good idea because looking further and further into it, we've got a big, we've got a bit of a crack there and I don't think that's going to go very well. And if I run over it in my van and then that splinters off and pops my tyre, I'm not going to be very happy, if I'm honest. So, but this was, and I mean, I'm chuffed a bit. Aaron's a strong guy, not as strong as me, but I look at I've got a bad wrist. Um, yeah, I think it's done really well. Obviously, completely unrealistic of what we would do. Normally, if this was ever to fall out or drop anywhere, it's going to be out your hand, less than me off the floor, out the back of your van or car. We've dropped it from eight metres, we've drowned it, We've dragged it and then beaten the hell out of it with a bat by someone mediocre strong. So, um, yeah, unfortunately it has broken. This is it. We're testing so far past its limits, like we've done with the way we connect. So, yeah, I think it's a great product. And like I've shown before, I've got thousands and thousands of pounds worth of camera products and testers and everything already in these boxes. And I'd be more than happy to protect my stuff. I think the only damage we had originally on the first few was the sticker coming up. So, I don't think that's too bad. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Go check out all the Unilite stuff. I'll list it all below and I'll see you soon.